Joining us now, director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy and a professor in the medical school at the University of Minnesota, Dr. Michael Osterholm. He's also just been named as a member of President-elect Biden's Coronavirus Advisory Board. Dr. Osterholm, it's good to have you with us this morning. You are on uh, President-elect Biden's panel, the advisory board named early yesterday morning. What kind of work are you all doing right now and what can be done in the time between now and Inauguration Day, which feels like an awful long time as we set new records of coronavirus cases every day? What can you do to help tamp down this problem? Well, first of all, uh, it's very early, obviously, in this uh, activity, so it's hard for me to say that what we're going to do, we're still working to determine that. But I am optimistic that the, the topic areas, whether it be vaccines, whether it be what we can do to limit transmission today by encouraging better public health coordination, all those things are, are on the table. And we're obviously going to be learning a lot more over the next several days as we move forward with the agenda for the task force. And Dr. Osterholm, what's your reaction to this news out of Pfizer that in this trial anyway, 90 percent effective? Uh, how much promise do you see in that? And do you share, as I asked Dr. Gupta in our last hour, Dr. Fauci's optimism that people who need it most may be able to get this vaccine by the end of the year? Well, yeah, I, first of all, I think it's very encouraging news, and I'm obviously very pleased to see that we have now evidence that this vaccine uh, approach can work. I think the challenge that we have yet, uh, where I'd be very cautious, is what does that 90 percent mean? Did we prevent 90% of fevers, coughs, and, and chills? Or do we prevent 90% of severe disease, hospitalizations, and deaths? And we don't know that yet. And if we use influenza vaccine as a model, we know that, for example, in patients there who are most likely to have severe outcomes are also the people least likely to respond well to the vaccine. So, uh, you know, we, we really need to get that information. Another piece of information yeah. we need, which we just can't get yet because of time, is, in fact, how long this vaccine will work. And, and that's going to be something we'll learn over the days and months ahead. So um, not putting aside this news, which is very good for a moment, but it's also something we're looking down the road at. Um, I'd like to ask you about the coronavirus and it's it's raging on right now. What are we in for in the next few weeks and what are your biggest concerns, either in terms of pockets of the country that are seeing surges or uh, increase in deaths? Well, kind of all of the above, Mika. Uh, let me just say that on Labor Day, we had 32,000 cases a day in this country reported. Uh, at that time, you know, I was already saying that this was going to be the darkest months ahead in terms of the pandemic because of the combination of pandemic fatigue, people who believe the pandemic is real, but just are tired of, of trying to limit their activities yeah. to reduce their risk. You know, uh, then we have pandemic anger, that part of the population that believes that this is still a hoax and that uh, nothing that they're going to do is going to co be consistent with public health recommendations. And then you bring us all indoors with indoor air where the virus concentrates much much more inside of homes where we have one to two air exchanges an hour as opposed to 12 air exchanges in a hospital. And so when you add that all up, it's the perfect storm. So, you know, I'm not surprised right now and have said we would be hitting 100 to 150,000 cases in this very time period. And what I've been saying for months is get ready. We're going to be hitting 200,000 or more cases a day. And we have to get prepared in our hospitals for that very issue. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.